Hello comrades and welcome to Steve on Steve plays Ostalgie the Berlin Wall. Ever since the new update came out everybody's been like screaming at me to play as Albania. And well here we are, this is it, this is that playthrough. The reason I'm playing this so late, because the DLC came out a couple of weeks ago, is because playing as Albania is very very difficult. I've done about, um, what, a dozen test playthroughs and I haven't been able to survive until the end of the game. It's, it's really, really difficult. But, you know, whatever, we gotta give it a try, so let's go. Of course, we'll be playing as Albania, because that's the name of the DLC, Legacy of Hocha. So yes, um, I tried doing it in Sandbox, and obviously that makes it a lot easier, and I actually managed to survive. But I did a lot of testing and just playing around with all the different um, decisions and everything. And it's really interesting, but it's very, very difficult to survive. There are a lot of very bad events, and you gotta be very careful, because you start with, like, no money. And it, it's, it's tricky. So, of course, we're going to turn on Party Doggery, Pressure from Moscow, and Western Propaganda. Achievements can be unlocked, so let's go. Alright, so this is pretty familiar. And, um, to be honest, Albania stands out, starts out okay. We got high support of the people, we got low West Algia, we got uh, okay-ish standard of living. We got a high diplomatic reputation, which isn't great, but we started with no money. So, our first priority should be to get some money, because... I don't know why, is this maybe like part of the new difficulty settings, but every year, every month, we lose 0.7 uh, from our budget. Which really sucks, because we have no money, and our budget grows by like 0.2 or 0.3 at the start of the game. So we gotta get some money, so we'll, do, we'll sell licenses to North Korea, which makes everybody unhappy, but it gives at least a little bit of money to start the game with. Um, and as such, since we already ruined our diplomatic reputation, let's get a contract with India. So at least we can trade with them. And we're gonna want to sit on this money and not build anything and not research anything for a while. Because we can't afford it, because things will go south if we try to spend all that money. And we'll go into deficit and we'll have to do budget cuts and ruin everything. So hopefully we'll be able to be careful. Uh, our economy is pretty shit. We've got nothing going on. Just a few farms, some factories. And this is the big thing. So every nation has like their own unique building, like Hungary has this massive parliament and East Germany has the Berlin Wall, etc. Albania of course has the bunkers, which is famous bunkers. The greatest invention since sliced bread. And they're really bad, because they sink our budget by, ha by half, a, half a money every month. They decrease the standard of living, they increase West Algia, it's, it's a bad thing to have and we can't turn it off. And we have to demolish it, but to demolish it, it costs 15 money from the budget, which is crazy. So hopefully we'll eventually manage to do that, because it's it's not a good thing to have those bunkers. At least not in terms of mechanics of this game. Uh, let's uh, recognize Syria and Lebanon, and um, hopefully we'll be able to get our diplomatic reputation at around 87, so we can trade with Syria. But it's not, uh, it's not a major priority, because we're already trading with uh, India, China, France... Yugoslavia and of course all of um, not all of them we're playing we're trading with some of the Eastern Bloc countries it's strange because we we trade with Poland and Hungary definitely but we don't trade with the GDR for some reason I'm not sure what's what's up with that but um but yeah obviously as Albania we'll have no money and we won't be able to like prevent the fall of uh, the Warsaw Pact and Comic Con not only because we're poor but also because we're not part of those organizations we're not part of the Warsaw Pact and we're not part of Comic Con we're the only country in this game that is completely removed from that. All of the other Eastern Bloc nations that you can play as are part of Warsaw Pact and Comic Con, which means you can actually reform those things from within once the Ussar falls, if you let it fall. But as Albania, you can't do that, so I guess our, our thing is, is gonna be just to watch it all burn and try to survive. Because that's, that's my most successful attempt, was like that. So let's unpause briefly. Okay, um, liberalization of the film industry, this is where they made a new uh, liberal film about a prostitute. And of course, our only choice is we will never betray the lofty ideals of socialist art. Brilliant. And there's gonna be a chemical weapons thing from France. Come on, there it is. Fight against chemical weapons. If we sign it, we lose one money. And I don't want to do that. And secretly failing to comply doesn't work, so we'll just not, not sign it. And it doesn't really do that much, just a 0.1 increase in authoritarianism. I thought it would be a lot higher, but it's not. But whatever. Alright, stuff in Albania. Deepening amnesty policy. Alright. Ramiz Ali as first secretary for the fourth year. He's our leader. Uh, after Hocha died four years ago. 
1986, amnesties of political prisoners were already held, and now our intelligentsia is eager to release all unjustly convicted. However, the situation in the country is extremely sad. People live in poverty caused by isolation. Maybe along with the release, it is necessary to ease the pressure on religion and psychotic, so that people can feed themselves. No, we will not ease pressure on religion because that is a silly pre slope which will only lead to pain and suffering. So we will adhere to our policy regarding prisoners and release them, but we will not ease the pressure. There we go. So that was one money that we had no choice but to spend, regardless of what we took. So released intellectuals, they joined dissidents, of course they did, but that's the only kind of half good option in that entire event tree. I feel like my music is way too loud, and it's at three. Let's go two, I guess. Yeah, I think that's good. I feel like the audio in this game is a bit weird. Yeah, so yeah, basically we can't do anything more or less for a long part of this game. We want to accumulate agents so we can provoke the Indian war, so we can keep trading with India. And that will hopefully ease pressure in Afghanistan, but that's like a completely different, that's not even a priority for us right now. For us, the only priority is survival. So if you notice, we just lost eight monies, I think. What is it again? Seven, which is, it really sucks. Every month we lose that and I don't, it sucks. <laughs> that's all I can say right now. And we can't do any research because we don't have any research centers. Um, it's amazing, I know. So we're always going to be behind on research, which sucks. All right, two things happening. Vietnam. The disease of the Vietnamese reformer. Uh, yes, we will wish him a speedy recovery, or we can do a conservative coup. I don't want to do that because I don't want to spend my agents. So let's just wish him for a speedy recovery. That bumps down our diplomatic reputation, which is great. Let's uh, just liberalize our party just a tiny bit. And that's enough to trade with Syria. Lovely. I prefer to use the, the trade screen, because the other ones don't really tell you a whole lot. But the, in the trade screen, the green one is everyone you're trading with. Which is annoying, because I wish the Warsaw Pact countries were also that, so that I could tell. It's because it's, right now it's difficult, you have to go into the, into the ledger. So, curfew in Kosovo. In Yugoslavia, nationalist sentiments are growing. With little help of Sigurami and the authorities imposed a curfew in Kosovo after the onset of attacks by Albanian terrorists. So what do we do? Open the announce that anyone can help the Albanians? That's a bad move. Increase secret assistance or terrorism is last century? That the terrorism is like so last century. So yeah, we need to negotiate in a civilian manner, which unfortunately costs us half of our money, but it, um, it helps the socialist camp stability and it lowers our diplomatic reputation a lot. So if we can drop by another two points, then we can get trade with Egypt, which is sweet. So let's try to do that. Okay, we have to wait until the next month. Because you want to get as many trade partners as you can, just so you can start like having a little bit of money trickling in. Because the Albanian economy is atrocious. Which, you know, I guess. A tiny country with no resources. And dotted with bunkers. Uh, let's keep uh, liberalizing our one-party thing a little bit, because we've got a lot of leeway there. I definitely want to keep a one-party state. Although there is an event that kind of forces you to stop. So yeah, as you can see, our standard of living dropped by two points for no reason. And it just does that sometimes when you're playing as Albania, which is annoying as hell. Because it makes your people unhappy. But at least West Algia is very steadily de decreasing, despite the Berlin, the, the bunkers. Okay, Burma. So there's a coup in Burma, we don't really care, let's just send them ambassadors. Um, and now we're trading with them, nice. And we already got five agents. So we need five more before, I think it's October, where we where India uh, has new elections or whatever. Let's change our politics a little bit. Just one more time and we'll be able to trade with Egypt, which is lovely. More trade partners is always better. Okay, so that's... Okay, China. Events in Tiananmen Square. Oh, this is actually a bit difficult. So we speak in defense of them, which raises our... Oh, Jesus. Oh, Leo, relax. Sorry, that's just... That's uh, my brother's dog. Alright, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so our standard of living dropped again. And there seems to be no way I can control that. Which is kind of frustrating, but okay, I guess. Um, yeah, it's just... It's a bit of a mess. So can we do our political thing? Okay, one more. Okay, we have to do it another time now because of Tiananmen Square. Yeah, but I don't want to lose the ability to trade with China. Can I do a relationship with them? No, we already have a relationship. I'm trying to look for ways to lower my diplomatic reputation. Okay, uh, yeah, Japan. I can't help with Japan. I'm sorry. It costs money, which I don't have. Uh, Helmut Kohl's discovery. 
Oh, okay, so if you don't know what that is, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to blast through just to just to get to the more juicy parts of Albania. The whole Helmut Kohl discovery thing is um, basically where Gorbachev agreed to let all the Eastern Bloc countries follow their own course in terms of politics. Almost the end of the version of the doctrine. Uh, yeah, let's lower our diplomatic reputation a tiny bit and trade with Egypt. Brilliant. It's another trade partner. All right, something's happening in Vietnam. New Cambodia. Uh, insist on keeping Vietnamese troops because uh, that, because we don't want to follow what the Soviet Union did because they're a bunch of revisionists. Relationship with Big Brother. So yeah, we are not restoring relations with the USSR. Absolutely not. This is the this this is the playthrough where we try to be independent. Or at least try to survive. Yeah, we lost all of our agents, by the way. I don't know how, but it, I did. So we can't save India, which is which is a shame. But whatever, we'll live without them. I'm kind of inclined to spend one of... You see, we lose all the money. Okay, Iran, this is important. Time for reforms. Ayatollah Khamenei has died, so I'll go personally and bring condolences to Iran, who lost their precious leader. And, uh, yeah, we're now trading with Iran, which is wonderful. New bright future. The visit to Iran means people want religion. Nope. Obsessive ideas do not lead to good. Let us have it as it is. We will definitely not um, be liberalizing or reforming at all. We do not want revisionism and perestroika and other nonsense. We will keep... There is. There will eventually be an event where we can go like full whole chest. Alright, so let's do support in Libya, which is expensive. And trade, look at that, we are trading with most of North Africa. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, we already got a lot of trade partners. Eventually we're going to be able to get um, Thailand and Cambodia, I think, as trade partners, which is sweet. But yeah, basically the your goal as Albania is to just kind of stay afloat. That's m m more or less all you can do. And yeah, we've... Okay. So yeah, this is Poland and Hungary falling. Crisis in the government of the Polish Republic. Yep, sorry bro, can't help you there. Same with you, uh, Hungary. Nope. The only problem with that is that it lowers your discon the support of the people and increases Westalgia a bit. Which is what's gonna happen... Oh my god, lots of stuff happening. Okay, what's in Russia? Prashay Brezhnev. The press attaché of the USSR Foreign Ministry, Gennady Gerasimov, said that the Soviet Union does not intend to interfere more in the internal affairs of the other countries, the Sinatra Doctrine. This means abandoning the Brezhnev Doctrine, which implied the preservation of Soviet influence in the, special, in the socialist countries, which with the use of any measures, including military operations. On the one hand, this gives us independence in our foreign and domestic policies. You see, this doesn't really apply to us because we're not in the Soviet sphere. Damned social imperialists. That, wow, that jumps our diplomatic reputation by five. Okay, and West Algi is actually quite high now, that's not very good. What's in the GDR? Yeah, okay, so Honecker just was forced to resign for health reasons. We will not interfere. Okay, West Algi is rising uncomfortably. Yep, and again we have opposition. Brilliant. Um, and this is the event where we can create like a second party, which appeases the people quite a lot, and gives, which is great. We'll do that. So if we look now in politics, there's this other party called the PDSH, which is allowed but we're still a one-party state so I'm not sure how that's gonna work for them let's change this advisor to this Mura guy who's a hochist which you know is nice uh, yeah these people want to like start stores who will buy my Halloween costumes for dogs your leader inspired by leaked news from the USSR the intelligentsia and young people want change namely the permission of private property yeah water cannons aren't a good idea because it makes the people absolutely hate you so we'll allow them to have tiny like little stores and stuff because literally we have to compromise. And if you notice, this jumps our standard of living to 46, but within a month it's gonna drop. I don't know why. You see, it's back to 35. Like that's gotta be a bug. I'm not sure, but okay. Bloodless coup in Bulgaria. Sorry, bro, we can't do anything. Socialist camp stability is already 63, and it's <laughs> October 89. Okay, so more problems in the homeland. Hold free elections, introduce the post. Uh, yeah, let's introduce the post of president and make it our leader, that person. But that, man, our best idea is really high right now. Uh, it just shit keeps getting worse and worse. That's one of the things if you play in the Eastern Bloc, you have to do everything you can to make sure the socialist camp stability stays high. Because I'm killing it and everything is collapsing and it's hurting me a lot because of the West Algea, which is a big problem. Velvet Revolution in Czechoslovakia, we wait, we do nothing, we got 72 Westlogia. So you see, this is what I mean by this is impossible to play as. As Mark's bequeathed, yep, do not interfere. 
70 will 3 West Algier is massive. Okay, mistakes of the past. Yep, they're just whitewashing. So we're just shitting on everybody, basically. Romanian Revolution. Um, yeah. Support the new Romanian government, I guess. Now nah, West Algier is at 80. Okay, what's happening? Death of the Romanian dude. We will tighten the screws, or we give the people at least some leverage. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. That's the good one. Perfect. So we kind of let people have a bit more civil liberties. That means we have 90 support of the people, and West Lagia got pushed down to 60, which is nice. Although social scam stability is at 48. It's terrible. Um, the Polish question. Yeah, let the Poles decide what they want. Nothing I can do, I'm afraid. Okay, so our party hates me. Let's get some... Um, Let's get some asylum in India for them. That usually helps. What's happening in the GDR now? It's like every day this, the, it's just falling apart in weeks. Goodbye, Lenin. So yeah, this is the GDR joining with, uh, with the FRG in 1989. We will not interfere, I'm afraid. Goodbye. So yeah, Germany is united, as you can see. Yeah, it's pretty disgusting. And... Okay, shit is bad in Romania. This does not concern us at all. Social scam stability is 39. This is the first year of the game. <laughs> this is bef like the Soviet Union hasn't even fallen yet, and everything is already terrible. Let's see our statistics. Are we doing okay? HDI declined a bit. The GDP is growing. Deficit is in negative. So that's pretty good. I think we're doing okay. How's our trade going? We're exporting tons, we're getting some money from that, which is nice. Yeah, this bureaucracy thing is still a, a, like a, a big problem. Alright, the India event still hasn't fired, so maybe we have eight agents, maybe we can still fix it. Let's see what's in Greece, the Greek question. Uh, support the opposition, help the ruling party. Yeah, we'll help the ruling party a little bit, because I don't really care about India. But Greece is right next to us, so that's something that's close. Yeah, there we go, that's the event in India, we wouldn't have made it anyway. The Indian Gambit, yep, the past is in the past, we can't help you India, I'm afraid. Mother Teresa, yeah, this is actually a very interesting event, I never, like, nobody ever talks about Mother Teresa, in the sense that she was an American puppet. In addition, she's on friendly terms with Reagan, awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom, and also has connections with anti-communist president of Haiti, Haiti Duvalier. Yeah, we will not let her in our country, I'm afraid. Sorry, bro. Uh, but yeah, we lost a trade partner in India, which is unfortunate, but, eh. We're still alive, so we're almost made it to the end of the first year. I think we can finish the first year. And we're alive, we're making a bit of money, still losing money, but West Logie is decreasing, but so is support of the people pretty steadily. I just wanted to make, I just want to make it to 15 money so we can kill those stupid bunkers. Because they're ruining everything. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, they're ruining everything. Alright, uh, England, what's happening? Favorable exchange. This is about General Noriega getting detained. Trade and international stir. Yeah, that increases socialist camp stability, but it's at 35. So I doubt it's going to impact anything. Okay, orthodoxy. The old party leaders continue... Oh, this is a great event. To pursue their authoritarian line. Restricting our policy of true socialism and trying to control you, our dear leader. Comrade... I don't know how to pronounce that. Nemije? I have no idea. Hocha. And the party organization secretary Muho Aslani are the core. Rallying around themselves, the remnants of supporters of Enver's idea. Yep. Uh, I c why can I only remove them? Carefully remove the... I don't want to kill them, let's pledge to democracy. But I want them to seize power. How do I make them seize power? I don't remember. I don't remember the, make the event that makes it happen. Okay, Yugoslavia. Farewell of Slavanka. Do not interfere, I'm afraid. And what's happening here? Hocha returns. Yes, this is the great event. The conspicuous shifts around the fear and discontent of the orthodox conservative Hochists in the leadership and apparatus of the PLA, who are afraid of losing their influence. The leaders of the group were the widow of the late dictator named Hocha and the secretary of the Central Committee of the Organizational Structure Lenka Chuko, I want to say. The Albanian authorities were greatly disturbed by the Soviet perestroika and the Eastern European revolutions of 1989 as well as individual decrees of the first secretary. Theref therefore, Nemiju, together with his allies, the secretary of the Central Committee, Lena Lenka Chuko, man, Albanian names are really hard for me, the secretary of the Duras party organization, Muha Aslani, and the old party member, Adil Kar Karkani, decided to launch a preemptive strike to take power. Uh, Ramiz Ali will be accused of Titoism at the, the plen plenum 
Expelled from the party and shot. Oh, I love that. Or we can just criticize him and make him resign. No, we will shoot him. Ramis Alia easily broke the arguments of opponents of the plenum and not only kept his position, oh, but also turned the situation around so the orthodox witches turned out to be the saboteurs. Huh. Is this just like a random event that has like a 50-50 chance of happening? Because last time I did it, the coup worked. Oh, I guess we need like a high number of agents. Okay, interesting. I'm still trying to figure out how this whole Albania thing works. All right. Um, mm. So Hocha didn't quite return there, but almost. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, he's dead. But um, yes, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. And um, please leave any comments in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, uh, well, before that, please uh, consider joining our Discord. And you can put recommendations there and we can chat and hang out. And uh, yes, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.